in the wide world of drug smuggling, smuggling by fast-flowing sewage may be the nastiest method yet. But that's what smugglers were trying with a sewer line that runs from Mexico through Nogales, Arizona. When some drug bundles got stuck, a sewer backup made sewage gush from this house. That blew the cover from the odious operation. Not in your sides, Craig Smith is live at the scene with more on some rather odd smuggling methods. Well, Guy, they spent the day here patching that sewage line and actually refilling that tunnel. And with and if smuggling by way of sewage seems like a crazy way to move your drugs, that's just a sample of some of the wild ways smugglers move their products. Sewage gushing from this house hints at how much water moves through the sewer line from Mexico to the U.S. What officials call the IOI for International Outfall Interceptor is rated for about 10 million gallons of sewage a day. So smugglers smelled some real potential. They found a house near the line, tunneled over to the sewer pipe, broke through the thick concrete pipe, inserted a steel rack to catch the drug bundles, and waited for delivery. It would appear that uh, they either lost control of the rack itself, the catching device, or the bundles came too fast. They couldn't retrieve them fast enough. Something went wrong, and what we found in there were four bundles that were that were pushed up against the, the rack that was in kind of a, a weird angle, uh, and that was causing the blockage in the in the IOI, which then caused the uh, the sewer to come up through the tunnel and and uh, and surface. But smuggling by sewage is just a smelly sample of the wild ways smugglers try to deliver their drugs. Border Patrol caught this fuzzy surveillance video of smugglers using a catapult. A news outfit in Taiwan loved the medieval method enough to animate it to make it easier to see. The real drug slinging smugglers were probably not quite so colorful as they loaded drug bundles and fired them over the fence with the smuggling partners on the U.S. side. Now, if you've ever been to a now if you've ever been to a sporting event and you've seen people walking around with air cannons shooting souvenir T-shirts your way, drug smugglers have actually used air cannons like that to shoot bundles of drugs over the border fence. Now, other smugglers have kept it a bit simpler than that. They just get somebody with a really good arm who throws it over the fence like a football. Live in Nogales, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.